Good morning, good morning. Get ready with me. Today I am going out for Easter brunch at one of my favorites, Govinda's, and some shopping. I am gonna put my sunscreen on and then I'm gonna share with you a little makeup routine using products from Merit Beauty. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Merit Beauty. You guys know I've been using their makeup for a while now, really liking it. And they actually have some custom sets with a great discount. So I'm gonna link those in the description box, but first of all, I am coming in, of course, with my sunscreen, and this is the Round Lab Birch Juice sunscreen I got in my recent Korean sunscreen haul that I shared, was it last weekend's vlog? Man, time flies. Um, and I really like this as a daily moisturizer. It's super hydrating. You guys are watching this the Sunday after Easter. I hope you all had a good Easter, but so far so good here. And I'm really excited to be going to Govinda's. They always do a really good vegan buffet on Easter Sunday. And last year they had these stuffed potatoes that I'm really hoping they have again this year because they are delicious. The sunscreen is really easy to tolerate around the eyes too. It's a organic sunscreen, so there's no white cast. I've also been using the stick version of this as an SPF lip balm and rather enjoying that too. Do not forget the neck. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. All right, so a product I love to use as a concealer is their Minimalist. This is the shade Ecru. but I really like that their makeup is designed to be buildable. So depending on how much coverage you want, you can just do a couple of extra swipes. You could even use your fingers to blend it in. You know, it's kind of a peachy hue that I have here and that nicely camouflages the prominent vein under my eye. So if you've been out here for a while, you know at the start of my channel, I wore like no makeup, only mascara. I was like, no makeup, no makeup. And a lot of people ask me, when did you start wearing makeup again? Probably about two or three years ago at this point. And in my past life, prior to being on YouTube, I did wear makeup and I just kind of went through a stint where I was like, ugh, I need to take a break. But I got back into it and honestly, I've just really been having fun playing around with makeup. But I turned to makeup, not necessarily because I feel I have to wear it, but I feel like, you know, with being on camera all the time, it really helps to not make me look washed out. But I never want to do any kind of makeup that's like super heavy. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. I mean, it's really just pretty minimal makeup that I wear. What I really like about Merit makeup is that it's easy to work with. It doesn't require advanced skill to get a nice complimentary look for your face to enhance your natural features. You get a really good color payout. Their formulas are pretty skin friendly too. They are free of ingredients that are common irritants, um, like no fragrance, for example. As a side note, I don't get why you would put fragrance in like an eyeshadow. Like, do we need a scented eyelid? So I like that about, about their makeup. I'm just coming in here with this kind of mauve cream shadow. I chose this color because the little dress I'm wearing today has this um, in some of the flowers, so I thought it would look nice. This color is called Social. I love using their cream shadows as an eyeliner. I'm gonna use this end of their brush. Next, I'm gonna apply one of their flush bombs, which is really a multitasker. I use it as a cream blush, but you can also use it on your lips. This is the color Fox which is also gonna complement some of the colors in my dress. And I just put a little here and here. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend that in. And if you want it a little bit more intense, you can come on with a little bit more or you could leave it just like that. I mean, I live in a humid climate, right? And I have found that these actually stay on really well and the color doesn't fade. And I love that you don't get that creasing. But like I said, they hooked me up with these bundles and Merit doesn't do like discounts or anything, but via the bundle, it is an opportunity to save on their makeup because you can get basically up to 15% off 
depending on which bundle you go with, uh, which is quite a savings, like up to, I wanna say $34 off. That's huge. Um, so definitely check the links in the description box. Last but not least for the lips, um, trying to decide between one of their glosses. These are really great, nice and moisturizing. Again, no fragrance or flavorance, which commonly can irritate the lips or um, one of their lipsticks. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is the shade Baby. And their lipsticks have like a nice matte finish to them, but they're not like drying or anything of the sort. As I said, I feel as though the makeup as a whole is pretty skin friendly, like um, has ingredients that are hydrating and moisturizing without being greasy. And one fun thing is your first order, you actually get this cute little bag which is great if you are on the go and you wanna take your makeup with you. Perfect to just throw your favorites in here. Ties up and you can throw it in your bag. And it's also really cute. Kind of looks almost like a little Easter bunny, perfect for the season. So yeah, thank you Merit for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Don't forget to check the links in the description box. Check out the bundles because it's a great opportunity to save on their makeup. They don't really do discounts or sales, but with my links via the bundles, you can save up to 15% off their makeup. All right, my outfit, I'm wearing that little dress that I got last weekend from Old Navy with this little shell I got from the Amazonian. And I have a little necklace from Pura Vida, little flowers. This dress I got at Old Navy is really comfortable. It's got, I don't know, you can see. It's pretty little flowers. I'm here at the park. Look at these pretty Easter decorations. I read a book by this author. I read that Never Let Me Go. It was good. Yeah, there it is. This is good too. This is good. I like this. I like anything by Charles Dickens. I've never, I've never read this, but I do like Ernest Hemingway. 
<sighs> What's that big Barnes and Noble? Art supplies. I have to resist the urge to get more pens. Ooh, what is this? That looks like fun. Oh, look at this cute tea infuser. Oh, it's got a little submarine. That is just too cute. This one, Cup of Nessie. Oh, it's a tea garden one. The little bunny. Ooh. All these papers. Looks like a good read. Always enjoy his movies. Mm -hmm. mm, Barbie. to look at these calico critter things. It's actually like one of the main reasons I came in here. Look at the little grocery store. The little eggs. <laughs> wow. Look at the department store. It's got a little cash register. Bunny family. Love the little picnic car. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a little kitchen island with the mixer and a little donut pan. Look at this one. This little lamb has a little bicycle with a popcorn truck behind it that is just too cute it pops the popcorn how is this three and up this is way too way too interactive for the three something that i've talked about in dedicated videos that bears re-mentioning wherever i can is the influence that hard water can have on your skin. The hardness of your water relates to the dissolved calcium and magnesium. It makes lathering body washes and shampoos much more difficult. They don't lather as well. What do you end up doing? A lot of people end up using way too much body wash and hair 
hair products, shampoos, to try and get lather to get good spread on the skin. And when you use too much, that increases the chances of irritation, plus leads to, in some cases, remains of the body wash or shampoo behind on the skin, including the scalp, that impair your barrier and aggravate dry skin conditions. But um, the calcium interacts with the surfactants in your body washes and things and creates little particles of chalk that are on the skin and cause irritation. So it definitely can be a big contributing factor to dry skin for the average person, but flares of eczema for somebody who has atopic dermatitis uh, potentially plays a role in other inflammatory skin disorders where there is an issue with the skin barrier, such as acne or rosacea. Investing in a water softener may not make a difference. The research on them shows doesn't really make a difference. Now the research is limited in terms of duration that they look of time, as well as it's not clear, could it be preventative? Because the people that they've looked at are people who have active eczema. Um, but water softener aside, you know, a big thing that can make a difference for your skin is limiting the duration of time you're in the shower, limiting the volume of body wash, soap, etc., that you use, and making sure to moisturize. Like those things can help combat the negative impact of hard water on the skin. So I just put in a Walmart Plus order and I still shop with Ibotta. If you're new here, Ibotta is like this rebate app that I use and it gets you like discounts and stuff. But using it on Walmart Plus, you really get a lot of good deals on there. And with Walmart, it goes to Walmart cash. So it's basically like free money that you can use on purchases in the future. Now, granted, on Ibotta, there isn't always like stuff that I'm necessarily interested in buying. But man, a lot of times they do have stuff. All that yammering aside, I just put in a Walmart Plus order, which I also really love. I've saved a ton of money using Walmart Plus uh, because they deliver like right to my apartment and it works out really well for me. But I ordered, uh, Lubriderm has another fragrance-free body lotion. I've been using the Advanced Therapy Lotion. This is a really good, affordable, fragrance-free body moisturizer for people with eczema prone skin, although you don't have to. You don't have to have eczema for this to just be a good, you know, decent, basic moisturizer. But they have another one that I want to try out, see how it, how it differs from this, that has a blue label. So stay tuned for that, but I am, you know, I go through moisturizers pretty quickly. Um, I'm almost finished with this one. So we're going to try the blue one out and see, you know, how it compares, how the consistency and texture is. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give Lubriderm a try this year because it's a brand that, you know, I know is good, reasonable, but I honestly don't really try out that often. But the other moisturizer that I want to buy again is the Gold Bond Age Renew, Advanced Renew Retinol Body Lotion. Man, that product is so good. It's got like urea in it as well as retinol. And I really find that it helps soften and hydrate the skin and it's so good. So I definitely want to get that again, but I wanted to try this Lubriderm uh, lotion with the blue label on it. See, just, you know, for testing purposes, how it compared because the Lubriderm moisturizers like Gold Bond are pretty affordable. Let me know, are you someone who uses Lubriderm for your moisturizing needs? What are your thoughts? Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Don't forget to check the description box for those amazing deals from Merit Beauty. And thank you, Merit, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.